why should you compare your YouTube channel to Apple? What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Why should you do that? So I have a main channel that you're not watching on right now. This is my second channel. And on my main channel, I make daily videos that are edited, that are uh, like lead magnets for my free community on school. Okay. So now you know the concept. So what do you do on a main channel where you need to generate leads? You repeat yourself about your free product. Thank you. About your free product and about the niche and about the problems in your niche. And you basically just repeat yourself in different um, with different titles and different thumbnails. So today I made six videos. I record them on one day and then in like four days I will record six again, blah, blah. So that's how I do it. That's how I like to do it. That's how I'm the most productive. So um, what did I notice now since I've gone in this new way, like this new way of my brand of being an entrepreneur, I still being a one entrepreneur because now I actually have a product and I've actually selected my niche. So now I'm not a one entrepreneur anymore. And what did I really notice? Well, you have to write your scripts in a different way like that are still interesting, of course, because you're basically telling the same thing. But it's also re really important that you just make the people that are watching your videos addicted to you like to your script so your script should be the same emo emotion over again over again over again so that people will get a, an emotion by one video and they will click on another one because they want the same emotion again that's how Hamza uh, became famous that's how Alex Ramosi is famous that's how Iman Gatsi is famous that's how Andrew Tate is famous they create the same emotion in one video then you want to, watch, want to watch another one because you want that emotion again. And if you have different videos with different styles, then you really don't generate that. So that's one important thing, the script. And the second thing is that you have to repeat yourself because then it's recognizable. If you're constantly talking about the problems in your niche, there are just a certain amount of problems, like they're not unlimited problems. So eventually you will repeat yourself and that's not bad. Why? This is the comparison to Apple. Apple only makes devices, right? Apple only makes devices, they make laptops, they make uh, desktops and they make phones and iPads and everything, tablets, whatever. They make those things. But I never saw Apple make a car or Apple never make food or never host a random event like some concert or something. <laughs> they never do those things because they are a device brand. They are a brand that they, they make fit, like uh, they bridge they solve the pain of communication they solve the pain of like uh, technology i guess like they solve more than one pain of course with an iphone you have communication you have your notes you have like education blah, blah. you have a lot of things but they always make the same things and do you always see apple promote their product yeah do they repeat themselves over and over again about the iphone about a new ipad about the new apple uh, macbook pro whatever yeah do people bother no why because they they know that it's like normal to uh, for a brand to repeat themselves. McDonald's, for example, they're constantly repeating over and over again about the same products, about the same McChicken and the same Big Mac. Yeah, I don't <laughs> really come at a McDonald's. I don't know these names, but you know what I mean. They're constantly repeating, repeating, re repeating. They want to be in your face all the time, and no one never like complains about that. But if a self improvement a self improvement YouTuber starts repeating himself, then it's certainly a problem because you have to be original, bro, and you cannot do that. But you you are a brand, bro. <laughs> you are here to um, push your product. You are here to get leads. You are here to eventually get customers for your new product, so they can buy your product, so you can provide value to them, and you can solve their pain, so they can give you money. That's why you are here. You are not here for the fun and giggles. That's no not why you are here. So at least if you are not for that here you can leave like there's the door if you're here to be become a really serious entrepreneur and i want to so that's why i'm talking about this then you need to be ready to do this you need to make you need to be ready to make three times the same video over and again over and over again you need to be ready to talk to the camera for 40 minutes about the same thing and then after that after after that 40 minute video do it for 50 minutes again about kind of the same topic with a different angle uh different view on the topic but basically the same knowledge you need to be ready to do that. That's what Apple do, does. That's what Audi does, like the car brand. That's what Ferrari does, Bugatti, whatever. All these brands, big brands that you know. McDonald's, um, Android, bullshit devices, sorry. And, uh, all, those, all those big 
companies. I just don't can't come up with different ones, but you know what I mean. All the big brands constantly repeat themselves, Samsung as well, over the same products all over again. Why? Because th that's their niche. They solve that problem, so you have to be in people's face to constantly remind them, oh, I've now this new product, I have now this new iPhone, I have this new MacBook Pro with those benefits and blah, blah, blah. You have to do that. That's how marketing works. And that's how you should become a good entrepreneur as well. If you make YouTube videos to get leads for your free community or for your paid community, whatever, for your product, then you should repeat yourself and you don't, should not be ashamed of that. And that's how it links to Apple. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.